Hello my little seedlings, my name is Toffee and welcome to my channel. Let's go! Hello everybody and happy Friday, I hope you've all had a wonderful week and are looking forward to the weekend, finally. Today I am back on Oakwood, my forest core island as usual. I would say I'm probably going to be on here 99% of the time. And today I'm going to be resuming my forest core building and I'm going to be doing more forest core resident services. We have the back and the right side still to do and that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. So if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. But let's just get into today's speed build of my foresty resident services. So I'm going to start, as I always do, with my kind of natural island terraforming with the terraforming <laughs> and I'm going to start by building up some cliffs because I've decided that resident services is practically going to be completely enclosed apart from the entrances and exits that I give it and so I'm going to put a little incline here which will lead up to a second tier of the cliffs and whatnot um, but yeah other than that Resident services is just merely going to be decorational. It's not going to have any purpose. It is literally just going to be for aesthetic purposes. So I guess it kind of is a purpose. <laughs> but yes, I'm just starting off with the cliffscaping and we're going to start with the right side first. We'll get to the left side a little bit later on. But yeah, I'm just going to try and make it as natural as possible. I did toy with the idea of making a land bridge down the right side of resident services. But it wasn't really working out and I didn't really vibe with that so I decided to just do kind of like a little bit more of a scenic enclosed space instead. I basically just filled in a big old square around the back and the sides just because I know some people ask me what I do after I do the outline. This is basically all I do, I just build a square. <laughs> and then I'm going to start kind of migrating that uh, cliffscaping around to the left side. As you can see there's not really anything on the left side, it's kind of just more like the, the back piece. And I'm going to end up connecting it to the cliff which it, uh, makes up the entrance of the island. And I kind of just wanted this to be just, it's, it's not going to really be any, it's not going to have a purpose, it's not going to be functional, but I wanted a little kind of scenic spot behind resident services here. I feel like that's just really what I wanted to do with my resident services. And then I popped a couple of cliffs on the top of that cliff as well, after of course, you know, placing down just square tiles everywhere of cliffscaping. <laughs> And then I'm just going to add in some waterfalls because that is what I mean by making a little scenic area. And then I kind of want the rivers to connect down here. It's, it's all going to be like just a, a kind of little sunken area. This is kind of like a sunken resident services. And I don't mean sunken as in like it's surrounded by water. I mean sunken as it looks like it's sunken down into the ground. <laughs> and that's kind of what I wanted to achieve with my resident services. And then to add some more height to the right side of the cliff, nothing too fancy, I just wanted to put an extra layer of cliff. It's, like I said, it's just scenic resident services, so um, no functionality to be had here, therefore lots of terraforming instead. the terraforming is finally done we're going to start planting trees here there and everywhere I tried to make it so that the terraforming would accommodate for lots of trees I will still try to fit in cliff edge trees where I can but usually around resident services it's a little bit more tricky so I had to I had to do the best with what I could <laughs> but yeah I'm just using lots of them in varying sizes and you know I'm using cedar trees and hardwood trees as well
And now that the trees are all placed and Audi is talking about laser pointers or something, <laughs> I'm gonna start placing down my bushes just to make it extra naturey and stuff, and thus begins the process of making it overgrown. My favorite process in my Forest Court Island decorating. <laughs> Of course I'm going in with the wheat fields after I go in with the bushes. And then after that, I'm going to kind of place some path down in a few areas. There's not really much space to make uh, a pathway in this little resident services just because it is so enclosed, but obviously up to the incline and a little bit on the right hand side you'll see in a moment. Here I'm going to kind of do a teeny tiny sitting area so it's probably going to be the only real functional area of this build. <laughs> So here I'm just going to make a little kind of sitting area. I wanted it to be kind of cute and almost kind of Grand Murray, like Grand Murray in the cottage. So I've got some floral bears. I wanted to put down some tiny libraries, some books, uh, just kind of, I don't know. It just gives the vibe of grandma style. <laughs> and then just very, very light decoration around the other areas. So I'm using mainly mush logs um, here and there, and then a little uh, cruiser bike but really just very simple decorating, which is obviously what I tend to do on my forest core islands. That is what forest core decorating is to me. And then I'm gonna go in with flowers and also with pumpkin plants just to spice up the actual, is it flora, is it called flora, flora, fa fauna, fa foliage? <laughs> any one of those will do and uh weeds as well just to make it overgrown and foresty of course otherwise it wouldn't really be an overgrown forest <laughs> I'm going to do some very light decorating in this little like, tiny nook here and then I'm going to add in some fencing and any final touches and then resident services is going to be completely finished. So that is my forest core resident services completely finished all sides backs fronts are completely done i'm very happy with how it turned out even though it is purely just for aesthetic scenic purposes and it's not really got any functionality but that's just how i like decorating my forest core islands but yes i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you are enjoying the forest core i'm wishing you all a lovely weekend and i will see you all next week goodbye